Hi, a very good morning, everyone. So I am here to show you guys how do I write a program so that it can help me to obtain or to calculate the maximum range or the maximum height and many other things for a project of motions. Uh, so let's recap what is actually a project of motions. And a project of motion is actually an object that is being thrown with some velocity and some angles, and the object is allowed to move under the acting of the gravity alone. So let's call the project of motions. I'm here to not show you guys all the variation. I would like to just show you guys the equations that I use. So actually, the project of motion is very very important. From you throwing a basketball to the military launching a missile, that's all applying the project of motions. But please take notice that the project of motion calculate. When I write this program, the, the equation is actually ignore the air resistance in air. So the calculation is actually uh, an ideal ideal conditions which there is no air resistance. But the but, but my program is also quite useful because it can giving us a general general idea or the general figures on how the object can be reached, the height and also its range. So without further ado, so let's take a look of the three equations that I use to write my programs. So as you can see, this is the three equations that I use to run my program. So firstly is the time of flight equations. And secondly is the maximum height equations. And uh, lastly is the horizontal range equations. So all the three equations is quite simple equation, not so complicated. But this three equation is very, very useful for me to write my programs so that it can calculate and assumptions which is there is no air resistance act upon the flying objects so it will giving us a general figures also and assumptions so without any delays of time so let's go see what what is my programs so this is um, this is the program that I that I did write so this program is can be said is a very very simple program. It's uh, only require the two inputs, but it can print out four outputs. So let's take a look how this program runs. So when a program is run, firstly it require the user to insert the initial velocity of the objects so let's say with this and the second requirement is the angle of projection so maybe i try 45 angles which is the ideal angle for maximum range so when my program is run it will calculate the maximum height in meters time of flight in seconds horizontal range in meters and lastly the maximum vertical heights for angle 45 degrees is in meter also so this maximum vertical heights for angle <coughs> 45 degrees I'm not discussing the equation in the in the introduction parts but I included in my programs so that's all about my programs